Good Inter morning, I'm Lily Grace. And I'm Phoebe D. And I'm Jennifer James. I'm Nelly Cobbley. We uh, are learning about World War II at school and I'm wondering if you can help us a bit. They're learning about World War II at school and they're wondering if you can help them or if we can help them. Well, I don't know Jennifer will be able to tell you a lot as well. Some things about growing up, because I grew I was things. little when the war yes. started and I grew up yes. during the war. When you see the sur Go on, the bombs dropping on people's houses. <laughs> What, can you and all that sort of thing. Yes, was not good. How did the rationing go? How did the rationing go? Well, <coughs> all right. I think you, you went to the shops <laughs> and talked nicely to the people at the shops. To see if you could get a bit extra, did you? No, because I was too little for that. But I was lucky in that I grew up on a farm, so uh, a lot of things we'd got ourselves. Uh, we had we had hens, chickens as they call them nowadays. Had hens, so we'd got and ducks and geese. So we'd got lots of food that way. But we'd got eggs, and we'd also would kill them. We also had pigs as well. Yes. Um, and, and a lot of other people did, but I can remember uh, we were allowed to kill, I don't know whether it was either one or two pigs in a year, but you had to give up your meat and your bacon ration if you did that. You had to give them your uh, uh, pool ponds. Um, and I can remember when it used to happen, uh, there used to be my mother and the next door neighbour, because I, although I grew up on a farm, it was my grandfather's farm, and we actually lived in a farm cottage, and there was another one lived next door. And they uh, and they used to get together, and my auntie, who then looked after my granddad, who was my grandmother had passed away, they all came together, and the pig was cut up, um, and uh, went to pieces, and then the, the big sides of bacon, the, you perhaps have seen them on the television, um, we, they, we had a cellar and they went down into the cellar where they were preserved with what was called salt, saltpetre. Yes. So were the hams as well, they were preserved and they were hung up. The ones on the, on the saltpetre went on very on special blocks that had um, a channel at the side. And when you put the saltpetre on it, drew the moisture out, and that used to run out. And when they were ready, then they used to hang them up and get them eaten there. But with uh, nothing in the pig was ever wasted. They used it for never, us. not <coughs> even a squeal. No, I didn't squeak. No, the boys used to have the big pig's bladder for football. They used to use the blood and and various other yes. things to make black pudding. They used to make. Um, mint, uh, they used to make sausages, they used to make pork pies, pies. everything they used to make and they'd share yes, it between yes. so my mum used, used to get so much and then the neighbours, uh, then my auntie and, and next door neighbour had some as we well. We used to get the chitlins, yeah. the inside of the, go on don't pull a face, they used to inside of the pig hmm. and put it under the tap and turn the tap on and then run the water through to clean it and then they'd uh, cut them oh they thought it was lovely <laughs> yeah. yes yes the... used to have salt and vinegar on them mm, they used to yes any fat. Uh, beautiful yeah. and black pudding i love black pudding it was made in big dishes then now, like, yes. not like you get it nowadays, it was done in big dishes, they cut it up. And they used to, uh, any fat, that they would get some fat out and that used to, what they call, ren they used to render it down and they used to warm it till it melted. Yeah. And then there would be bits in it and then they'd strain it off and then that's what we used to use for cooking. Because it was like lard. So that's it was lard. It was lard, that's what they yes. used to do, you see. Yes. 
So, and then we, uh, you know, so with, with regard to me, we had plenty, we'd got pork and things like that, so we were quite well off like that. Um, we had an orchard, so we'd got apples and pears and plums and damsons and things like that, and those used to be preserved. Um, we had uh, <laughs> bottles and bottles in what they call yes. the jars of, of fruit that had been preserved. I mean, some people do it today, but in those days you couldn't go to the shops and buy a tin of peaches or buy a tin of pears. There no. just wasn't any. So we had to, so my mum used to, and, and we used to bottle everything, and we'd got um, a pantry in the front room as well as in our, the, the kitchen and that one used to was the store one and it used to be filled with all these jars of different fruits that she's preserved so we had them so we were quite well off and my dad we had a big garden and my dad used to dig the garden a lot so in that respect was we, we were very lucky we used to put eggs yeah oh that's right as yeah. the chickens had laid improper icing glass Alling, yes in icing glass improper uh, Cut, uh, buckets. They got to be a certain bucket. Like I forget. I think I've still got one at home. I don't know. But it used to put eggs in a certain way. Mm, Each time the <coughs> ends are laid, they used to take the egg and put it in until the bucket was full. And then we'd got eggs it then to use. Didn't you it? The icing glass preserved the eggs, so yeah. we, so we had eggs as well. Yeah, because a lot of people they, they had a lot of dried egg in the war. They used oh to have yes. To reconstitute that dried egg. You don't see it now, do you? I can't remember. I mean, I I, I was too young to, to to remember the dried egg, but I know they've talked about it. But the other things I can. Um, and what else did we do? Let's uh, say I I went to school through the war. <clears throat> so we used to have to walk, but there were no we didn't have buses, and we lived on the farm. So we lived about two miles from school. So we used to walk there in the morning and walk there at back at night. Um, and we used to. It was a little village where I lived, so we used to gather up as we went along until we were all, we more or less all went together, and that was good. But when we were at school, there were different things. Um, one thing we used to we were encouraged to do at school, and that was to go out and buy. Uh, uh, sorry, not buy, and pick rose hips, and that they used to make rose hip syrup from because you couldn't get. We didn't get oranges. We didn't know what an orange was. I didn't know what an orange was. Um, I couldn't remember what oranges were or bananas. We didn't have things like that. But the rose hips was like orange, like had a lot of vitamin C. So we used to go and we'd pick them from the hedgerows because there were a lot of wild roses and that grew around in there. And we used to pick them and, and then they'd pay us, <coughs> excuse me, we used to take them to school, any rose hips that we'd picked and they'd weigh them. And then we used to, we had a lot of money we didn't get, but we used to get, a, they used to give us something for picking them. So that was good, that encouraged us to do it. Yes, yeah. yeah. Nuts. We never went hungry though. We never didn't. went hungry, <coughs> I don't think. No, we didn't. No, no we didn't. didn't. We didn't get extra margarine. We never. Oh um, no! Think, no something were very no, sort of tea no. and margarine and, and something butter. always just dropped you there. Were, you were sure. You used of. to chop the pork up and give one neighbour a yeah. piece, another neighbour a piece, another neighbour yeah. a piece. Yeah, we used to share that all. Didn't <laughs> we? we used to say, "Oh well, she's give us some peelings." Which like to give <laughs> air a piece, and that's yeah. how. Because they used to boil all the waste up, didn't they? Used to boil it up for the pigs and that, and make yes. and, and, and also for the hens, they used to boil it up or any any uh, leftover vegetables that, uh, and peelings, you know, cabbage that were brought. They boil it up and then mix it up with mash, with the mash, mash. And, and give it them. And it'd be warm, you see, for them as well. But it made it go a bit further because it wasn't a lot. We, um, bread we used to have two pigs at the back of our house feeding them. And my mother used to clean them out twice a day. <laughs> and when the man came to fetch them, they got to be a certain weight. When the man came to fetch them, he once said, I could do with these bees, but they never want to go from here. <laughs> I said, no, ask 
think they know where they're going. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and they never wanted to go because I think they got a little inkling as they were going to be killed, you know, and that was it. But, oh, we made every bit of everything with the pork, everything. Well, you had to do with a lot of things, didn't you? You yes. had to do them in different ways as much as you could. When we're talking about fruit and veg, one of the things we used to do as well, and it, you don't see them a lot now, but we used to go, also, we used to pick hazelnuts. You can grow that in the hedges, and we, we'd got a lot on the, in the hedges on the farm, so we were lucky. I think I was perhaps a bit luckier than a lot of people, really. Um, another thing I can remember about school was that... Um, it was a junior school that I was at. I mean, um, school. Uh, the war had been started for, nearly, for about two years when I started when I started school. But as I got sort of towards the end of the war, they used to measure as you got towards the sort of te uh, nine, eight, nine. They used to measure your feet, and if your feet were above a certain size, I think it was a size five. You got extra coupons for shoes, but I never managed that. I would do now, but I didn't then. <laughs> but that was some and clothes. New clothes were very few and far between, so there used yes. to be a lot of jumbo sales, didn't there? Yes. It was yes. all jumbo sales in those days. A lot of people started making the clothes. Yes. And, and, and altering clothes to fit yes. and that yes. sort of thing. But the jumbo sales they used to have, and I can always remember... Oh, a lot of jumbo mm. sales. You never hear of jumbo sales now. Not the same. It's no. like you never hear of... I mean, we used to have bread and lard. Eat oh, bread and lard okay. with sauce on. Mm -hmm. And if you ask somebody now, you ask them, they'll say, Oh, bread and lard with sauce on, you know. <laughs> like that. Bread and dripping, I like But them. you liked it. Mm. It fed you, didn't it, Nelly? Oh, yes. I can't even remember having bread and lard, but we say it didn't do you no know, harm. Oh, lovely. Mm -hmm. What I was going to say about the, the clothes, I can remember. Uh, you know what a jumbo sail is, do you two? Yeah. Do you know what a jumbo sail is? Yeah. Well, I can always remember uh, that my mother came home with clothes. You know, they'd be all rummaging through something that fit you. She brought something in it. I'd say, that was so-and-so's. I don't want to. You know, <laughs> if it was somebody's that you knew, I won't wear it there. <laughs> Yeah. If you didn't know it had come from, it was all right, but if you knew it was, you didn't like yes, it. Yeah, yes, can you remember yeah. that? Yes. That, that was quite funny with regards yes. to that. Yes, you used to make rugs. Oh, yeah. You used to cut old clothes up into pieces. Make peg rugs. You know, like that, like, like that. And then get a peg and push it through. Get a piece, pull well, it up, Hesse and Hesse make a rug. You had a Hessian sack. Yes, to yes. Get the Hessian sack. Oh, yes. Had the stuff in and wash those and use them to make rugs. People can, they do do that nowadays as well, but not like we used to. Oh, no, no, We'd no, always no. got, we got it on the row. No. Um, my mum used to no. peg them like that, and she also used to make one where she used to dab it through and hold it and, and cut it. Yes, in, uh, yes. You know, the different, different, used to cut it in like a long rib, like a, like a... Uh, I made a, a stair ribbon. carpet for the stairs of wool. We bought the wool, you know, rug wool, and then I had to, and I used to stick it in, you know, and and go on till I'd done so much and then we we put it up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what, Chloe, yeah. what you'd got for what would make a, a, a pattern and things in them. We didn't you they didn't used to just put them in any old hour, did they? They used to make patterns. What yeah. else do they want to know? How old were you when World War Two started? How old was you when war started? How old were you, Nelly? You were 16 years younger than me, older than me, I mean, younger. <laughs> so, I was three. You'd be, right, no. you'd be 19. Hey? You'd be 19 when yeah. war started. Yeah, I can remember. I was courting then. On, I've only went out with one boy. 
and he was going home and there was bombs dropping yeah, in sentry home. bombs mm -hmm. and we said oh they look close and he said that looks like our house and he went down he left me and went to where he lived and there was a the bomb had come through the roof and threw onto the bed <laughs> and the bed, the bed. What our old? Our, our old. Yeah. Were you scared? Yes, yes. yes. She just asked you something. Were you scared? Was you frightened? Well, you used to say, you used to hear airplanes go over and we used to say, that sounds funny. That's him. That's what we used to say. As any, anything. That's one of ours, you know. Or that's not ours. That's theirs, you know. And that's how we used to you can go. Tell what and then we used to watch him. You could tell what planes they were by the know whether they were ours or whether they were German planes. Yes, you didn't know whose they were. Yes, and then of course all the people, you know, went over and then they become prisoner of wars. Now my brother was a prisoner of war, but he would never tell you anything about the prisoner of war. When he came home and you asked him, something about it. He'd say, I don't know. He wouldn't tell you. Only thing that he said was he didn't smoke and he used to have his ration of cigarettes and hide them underneath his pillar at night and then exchange them next day for food. You know, if somebody wanted food or wanted a cigarette more than food, well, they used to exchange them. But he never would talk about the prisoner of war. Never. Never. Could never get anything. It was one of them type. But anyway. Yes, Lord. Did your family have a car? Car? No. <laughs> Yours didn't. <laughs> no, mine didn't. Well, um, He'd have a job to have a bike. Me dad used to go to work, three on and three off. <laughs> I think. Well, we, you'd have to walk. <laughs> That's right, you did. Oh we, didn't did have, we didn't have a car friend? ourselves, but I think my granddad had one. <coughs> but we didn't have one. We used to have, well, the... Um, ponies and traps. Yeah, we used to take milk. Yes, we used to take milk round with ponies and traps. Yeah, and they used to come round with churns. Yeah, used to have a bucket and used to have yes, size and measures. Yes, it's good, you know. <coughs> People used to come out with a, yeah. with a come, or you'd go to a house with your bucket and your measures, and they'd say how much they wanted. So you'd measure it out, and then you always gave them a bit more. You always got a bit more than you. If you asked for for two pints, then you'd get two and a half or something like that. They always give the measure and then a bit more. I a used bit. to help my dad. I used to help my dad with with taking uh, yeah. taking milk out on a Saturday and a Sunday. I used to go with yes. him to take the milk yeah. out. <laughs> oh dear, dear, dear. What did you do in your free time? What did I do? In we used to play a lot. We did. We played a lot. We used to. And we were lucky. Because oh, scotch! Oh, yeah, I played all sorts. But we used to make a lot of dens. We used oh, to make yes. dens. Of scotch um, and old tigger, marbles. Tigger lurky. We had marbles, tin alive. lurky. Oh, yeah. That's it. Was Domino's alive back then? Oh, yeah, Domino's <laughs> were alive then. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We used to do a lot of things in the. At, at, at home, we played a lot of games. We used to play a lot with cards, card games. We play snap and different ones. Uh, and we used to uh, we do, do what jigsaw. We used to read a lot. 
They used to have bobbins with four. Oh yes, French knitting. They used to have <coughs> bobbins with four nails on the top. Mm. And we used to put wool around and then it yeah. used to come out at the yeah. bottom. <laughs> French, knit, French knitting that was yes, called. Yes, yes. You might still do that. You can buy things to do oh, that now, yeah. but we improvised, didn't we? Yeah. We did a lot of things and we used to we used to do things together as families as well. Oh, um, yeah. At home, you know, we'd all play or we'd, we'd um, have the wireless on because we didn't have a television. In fact, we didn't have electricity till well after the war. So we just had oil lamps in the house, yes. Aladdin lamps they were called, and then we used to have, used to have a candle in a yeah. holder, I've still got to it when electric was on, um, and take the, when we went to bed we had to go to bed by a candlelight, and we didn't have carpets all on the floor, oh, either. No, it was no. lino and a little mat at the side of your bed if you were lucky. Unless you made them yourself. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah. I, mean, I mean, you didn't have carpets like the no. bedrooms are covered in carpet now. And you didn't have, a, it, with no central heating, of course, or anything oh, like no, that. Oh, no, no, you so were cold. Wind, yeah, in a winter morning, when you got up, on your windows, when it was icy, there was lovely patterns with ice, with that the frost had made. And you used to jump out, you used to have your clothes in bed with you to warm them up. And you, jump, <laughs> you used to jump out of bed quick. You get dressed as quick as you could and then go downstairs to have a wash because it wasn't nice and warm like it is for no you bathrooms. now. <laughs> it wasn't, it was very cold. So that's what you, we used to do when we got up in the morning. Yes, and my mum would be yes. down and they'd have and we hadn't got a cooker, no electric cooker or gas cooker. We hadn't got either, we got neither gas nor electric. And it was a black a, a fire with in the middle oh. and then one side was what they called the boiler where you put water. And that got hot and there was a tap at the bottom to get the water out. And then at the other side there was an oven that you waded all the cooking. There. And then you had like this, um, oh God, what do you call them? Yeah. Oh, what do you call them? A trivet thing that came across that you could put saucepans up of your fire, put your saucepan yeah. or your kettle on. Or they had a hook come down that sometimes they hung things over. And you used to have to black lead those cards, those uh, fireplaces in those days, you like, like putting shoe polish on and polish them up. Yeah, yeah no used to do that. We used to have to help with that when I was little. <laughs> <laughs> Did you live anywhere that was bombed? Did we? Live anywhere that was bombed? That was bombed. Um, only in one of the only in, there was a wood at the side of the farm, and there was a um, a bomb went into there. Yeah, but like Nelly was saying, yeah, but that's that's the nearest we yes, got. Yes, there was uh, a lot. We didn't of, have one that affected us. They at were all. like silver. You could see them coming down. You know, as the airplane was going over, and they were dropping them, and they were you know. And, you're wondering where they were going to drop and what. They used to be sort of unloading and when they'd been to somewhere like Sheffield and that coming Because he had all your windows, he had uh, covered with black material because of so no keeping light, the light out, you black see, out. so black that black they out. couldn't see black up black there out. where the light was. That's right. That's, That's it. it. So, of course, she used to be in darkness, really. Yeah. I've got something new. We've been to Eden Camp on a school trip. What do you say? We've been to Eden Camp on a school trip. You've been to, have you? Where did you go? Eden Camp. Oh, yes, it's good there, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Where are you? It's in Yorkshire, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. ah, yes. It should be a prisoner of war camp. Mm. Yeah. Well, we had prisoners of war come to work on the farm. Um, as it got toward the end of the war, they used to come and we had German prisoners of war and they came from a camp. There was one or two camps around us, but the, there was one at Swanwick and then there was this one at Nether Hege. And we had, um, they used to come and help on the farm. They were mostly um, German men that came they used to bring them in the morning in a lorry and out they'd get and then they used to work and then there were some Italians but my granddad preferred the, the, um, the 
the German ones, they worked harder <laughs> than what the Italians did. Uh, but um, as it got toward the end of the, towards the end of the war, they used to let them say what they used to say, stay out at weekends. And there was one or two of them that we got very friendly with. Um, and they used to come and stop at our house, they used to sleep downstairs in the front room I think and they'd stay with us over the weekend and there was particularly, there was a, a man called Ernest Mino who came from Kaiserslautern in Germany and he was similar age to my mum and dad and he had a little girl at home um, who was just a little bit younger than, than I am and um, my mum used to pack some of my old clothes up that didn't go to jumbo cells and send those over for her after the war because um, they were like us. They didn't really want to be, be at war. war. They they were made to come like our people. Well, they made they had to sign, they had to join the army and they were just ordinary people. And there was there was Ernst. We got very he was very friendly and and, and my mum and dad kept in touch with him right through until now they've all gone, Ernst and Matt and his wife and, and uh, my mum and dad. Um, and there was another one called, he was a bit old then, there was Fritz who was quite young, I can't remember Fritz's surname, but we got in touch with them. But they were really nice and, and when they used to come, um, they used to make a lot of things, they'd got time, when they were in the camp they'd got time on their hands and they used to make things um, in the camp. And they, uh, one of the things they used to do, you won't remember, but they were used to have, and on the milk bottles, it was round round cardboard with a hole in, and then they, they used to cover it with raffia and things like that. They made used bags out of them, they made slippers out of them, and they'd bring us those things as, as thank yous that they've, they've done. Um, and they also made things, and I brought a couple of things to show you that they made for me, all right? Well, I don't know, perhaps one wasn't for me. One was definitely for me, but the other one wasn't. I have, we have got more. Um, for my brother, my elder brother, they made him a ship in a bottle, which was lovely, and he's still got that. Um, this was what was made for me for my birthday, and it's a jewellery box. And inside, that's come off the end and I've not stuck it back on. Um, in, whoops, inside not any jewellery but this was what was inside and somebody's they've drawn a rose look and it says nether hege camp 248 now whether that was the number of the camp or the number of the person i don't know and somebody in, in beautiful script has written dear girl i send you this small present for a memory of me to your birthday and wish you many happy returns of the day. Yours sincerely, Herman Schmidt or something like that. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. But that was lovely, done that. So in and inside it, look, the, it, it's all been made all up. Oh, oh, don't let me lose that bit. It's all been done, all padded inside the lid as well. And that yeah. was what they. That's what I. What I've. Oh, and I've treasured that ever since. Yeah. So that's one thing, I brought that to show you, um, I'll put that in there to keep it safe. When the prisoner of war, they used to send them parcels, we used to pipe things up and then sew them with Essium round them and sew them up and then write the names on the Essium and send them off. You know, we to, would to your, send to the, chocolate to, to the British people, to our people. You mean, don't that we? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's right. To we the used English. to send parcels every so often. Yeah. And this is something else that, that I think this must have probably mums. Uh, this um, photograph frame. That person in the photograph, that is Ernst Maynell, the ones that they kept in touch with. I've got letters at home as well that came from Ernst and this one you can if I take that out and there's some pieces underneath well I'm not going to do it because it's getting a bit but you can alter it so I can pull it out so it's wider and I can put the photograph in that way if I've got one that wants to go ah, that way so that's yeah. what all that is and in actual fact it's got the name and address underneath of the person who actually 
made it and it's the same one that's made me that box. So he, he was obviously very clever because he's obviously used all different little bits. I mean he's even done just a little bit of marquetry, <coughs> that's called at the front look, just a little bit. And he wouldn't have proper tools to do that. They'd have to make do and mound. And, and to make this sort of fans outside, I think it's beautiful really. So that was that. those are two things I've brought you. I've also got at home um, a sewing bas a basket that my mum they made for my mum, which was you can buy them nowadays and they're like concertina yes. and out like that. It had a handle over the top and a big bottom and a, 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 an open, a piece across the bottom. Then at the side were two um, probably little drawers. They weren't drawers, they didn't pull out. When you opened it you could see and the top had lids on but it was it was raining when I came and it wasn't very good so I thought I'll not bring that. But that that we've got I've got at home as well, as I say, and I've got letters and things that they've had. But um, these I, I keep this up I've had this on display all the time. Ernst, upstairs, Ernst is upstairs. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah it was it's not because he was such a nice man. And it, it, you know, it, they, well, they all were. The ones that came to us were, were really, really nice. So um, that is something that that I treasure from the war. Uh, it's it's something good that came. There were some good things came out of the war, war. as well as some bad ones. Yes. Um, yes. And, and friendships war. like that were yes. it made you appreciate other people. Yeah. Yes. What else have you got on your list? Yeah. Did people do dancing? Did we? Did people do dancing? Dancing? Oh yes. We used to do <laughs> dancing. <laughs> we used to have... Um, I never went dancing. Oh, I, I did. I used to go with mum and dad. We used to have... And, and we used... And there's one dance we used to do and I can't remember what it was called. Um, but we used to do... Uh, we used to have Papa Dad... The, 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 we used to have the police balls, the policemen used to have special dances, we used to go to those and people used to dress up in those days, you hadn't got much but you dressed up uh, and, the, and the farmers used to have them, there used to be um, different farming associations because there was a lot more and there used to be a ploughing association and we used and they all used to have their dances and they'd do um, not your modern dances but you'd do um, you know the waltz and the quick step and they'd do the old ones like military two step and the valita and all that sort <laughs> of thing you see uh, and and of course this, this they did the jive which I wasn't very good at but they did the jive um, can you jive yeah I we thought do so room. we do ballroom dancing at Amy's you do a ballroom dancing, yeah. yeah. But we didn't yeah. do things like the salsa and, and stuff like that. But yes, I've always I've I've, I've always liked dancing. But unfortunately, oh. my husband doesn't. <laughs> He's got two left feet. I can get him. <laughs> I get him out for always in Bernard's waltz and <laughs> that that little <laughs> belita, and that's about it. Yeah. So we did dancing. Yes, we did. Yes, yes. We get together in the village. Is that about done your little? I think just tell me, yeah. just at the end of the war, can I just, I'll just tell you when the war finished um, and we had celebrations. Um, we, we had one in that, well not our village, in the village where I went to school. And um, like nowadays when they have, and, and they did then of course, had um, carnivals and they had a carnival queen and that. She wasn't called the queen, I can't remember what she was called, but we, we, had, we did the same thing. They did the same thing um, and uh, I was one of the junior attendants actually. <laughs> but what we did, we, we had, they hadn't got any much material about and so they did what, uh, they used um, butter muslin. I don't really know what that yeah, is. That very loose. It's very loose. It is. In fact, something I didn't tell you. What my mum used to make her own cheese by putting sour milk in butter muslin and hanging yeah. it outside the door. He used to hang it outside that, didn't he? Yeah. Stuff straight yes, out of it, like the soft cheese you get. Yes, she used to do that. But they got butter muslin and they um, dyed some blue and dyed some red, and we had dresses on. I've got a photograph and I don't know where the blooming thing is. Uh, we, we had a white dress, a long dress, and then we had, because it was V for Victory, they did a, a red, a white and a blue uh, frill in the middle of V for Victory. 
Um, and then we sort of had this thing going off in the village. It was lovely. We yeah. used to have big carving knives and we used to go onto the stairs and carve a slice of eight and up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it that. was lovely. Fat. It was. Very fat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. No. Any more? That's it? That's it. That's it. Thank you. That's Thank fine. You. So oh, cool. you're welcome, you silly thing. Oh, you thing. shouldn't have. You shouldn't have done. Thank you, Thank you very you much. Thank you, love. That's very kind of you. I hope you find oh, it useful. Oh, Thank you, mate. But we told you. you. Do it for that, Joe. That's lovely. Thank you. Do it. Thank if you, you uh, ever so much. Just hope you find it useful. Thank what you. We, we will. We're, we're really, very very grateful. Grateful. we are extremely right. grateful.